Hey y'all, it's Katie. Welcome back to another Animal Crossing New Horizons Island tour. And today we are touring the fairy tale and nursery rhyme inspired island of Blossom. I am really, really excited for this island for a couple of reasons, which I'll get into in a minute. But if you do enjoy island tours like this one, if you just like being inspired by these incredibly creative and talented island creators make sure to hit that subscribe button as i do put out new videos every single wednesday and friday so like i said this is the island of blossom and i will pull up the map right here it is by tasia also known as tay.crossing on instagram and as per usual i will make sure to put all of that information in the description box so you can go give tasia some love also, I'm very proud of myself for not just completely stopping talking when this terraforming popped up because, wow, this is, oh, excuse the Netflix noise in the background. <laughs> this is an insane map. Look at that waterscaping. Whoa. Okay, well, here's the dream address on the screen if you would like to visit the Island of Blossom. Like I said, it is inspired by fairy tales and nursery rhymes, but it also has hints of cottage core, spring core, fairy core. It's definitely a hybrid of all of those elements. And look at all of these houses. Oh my goodness. And they're all named appropriately, of course. There is Tasia's house right in the front. And then we have Miss Plum, the Muffin Man, the Muffin Man. Cindy, which I'm guessing is Cinderella. I guess we'll find out. Then we have Goldilocks and then Red, which I'm assuming is Little Red Riding Hood. And all of the houses are fully decorated. So we have quite the video, you guys. Grab a snack, grab a glass of wine. I have one myself. And then here we are with villagers. We have Grizzly, Marshall, Gala, Goldie, Pashmina, Curly, and Agnes. Okay, I have to guess that these three guys are the three little pigs. <laughs> then we have Mary, Sherb, and Molly. Okay, I am really, really excited for this tour. Let's go ahead and get on into it. First off, this flag is absolutely precious. I think it's so, so sweet. And let's get started. Oh yeah, definitely getting cottagecore vibes right out of the airport gate. Oh, how beautiful is this? Look at this entrance, y'all. Let me whip out the camera. It is not too often that you see, oh, you know what, I'm just gonna run this way. <laughs> it's not too often that you see a resident house right outside of the airport, but look at how effective and beautiful this is. Also, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, I think, houses to explore. So we are gonna go ahead and go into, I think this was Tasia's house. So the island creator's house themselves. Oh, how cozy and sweet. Yeah. So I had a feeling that Tasia's house might just kind of be where our story begins, right? She's the narrator, the reader, probably the one who's exploring all of these stories alongside with us. So we definitely get those cottage core elements right here in this first room. I am a huge fan of having the furnace right in the center of the room. I think it just looks so neat how the structure goes all the way up to the ceiling. Yeah, let's go on and explore the room to the left. And because there are so many houses, I am going to go through them a little bit more quickly than I typically would on an island with just one house. But since these, wow, this is a beautiful bathroom. Since these are fully decorated. Okay, wait, no, my sink. It's the sink that I love. Oh no, can I not get to it? I can't get to my love. So if y'all don't know, if you're relatively new to my channel, I love this sink in the bottom left-hand corner. It's my favorite in-game item. I wish I had it in real life. And yeah. Also, look at how beautiful these custom designs are just hanging right on the wall between the actual artwork to look like a cupboard, but also the dresses. This is all so sweet. Such a beautiful bathroom. An amazing incorporation of the custom codes. Yeah, I absolutely love this. I love how this very first house is right in front of the airport. It gives you something to do the minute you get to the island. You know, there's no entrance trickery or anything along those lines. <gasps> okay, this is a sweet bedroom. Look at the bears. 
right on the actual quilt or duvet, whatever you would consider that. That is really, really sweet. And the perfect one pair of shoes just right there at the foot of the bed. I love it. Also, you don't see a, a net like this placed all too often unless it's a very specific bug area on the island, but I really love it. This is such a sweet bedroom. Okay, now let's go to the right. Oh, also, I'm just now remembering that I have something in my pockets that I'm going to open as soon as we exit the house. Ooh, how cool is this? Oh my goodness, this is a sweet little kitchen and bakery area, but I love this placement of the book. Like I said, since this is Tasia's island, this is her house, it makes me think that this is maybe where she's sitting having a cup of tea or coffee and really diving into all of the fantasies that live on her actual island maybe that's my own interpretation but i think it's you know it's sweet to imagine that also i'm loving the custom codes on the actual ground like the little mouse the little water puddle <laughs> spilling under the bucket all of those are really sweet Hey, upstairs first. Do y'all get upset that I do the same progression whenever I tour houses? I pretty much go clockwise. <gasps> Whoa. Okay, I'm not gonna do a full pan because I don't wanna totally ruin the illusion, but look at how these simple panels are made to resemble spiral staircases in this incredible, incredible library. And of course, all of the books on the ground, this custom code, which I'm obsessed with. Wow. Wow, this is beautiful. And I also love how there's the typewriter at the back of the room as well, just implying that maybe, maybe Tasia and the island creator, you know, they're the ones actually crafting the stories that are happening on this island. It's also cool, you know? That's the fun thing about this game too, is there's no limit to the imagination. And y'all know I'm gonna like this. Again, I'm not gonna pan all the way around because these standees are just too perfect underneath this archway. How beautiful is this? We have our sweet little gnomes. We have some little duck decoys hanging out right here. This is a beautiful outdoor to indoor basement. Wow, what a beautiful way to start off this whole island tour. Absolutely stunning. Okay, before I forget, we did have a ladder, thank goodness, <laughs> but we also had some of these presents dropped outside of resident services. Oh, we have an outfit. Well, I have to put it on. Oh, oh, every time. Does anyone else do that or just me? I always, always, always drop instead of open a present. A little mum crown. Oh, so sweet. Cosmos wand, love. <laughs> I love the Cosmos wand because it actually looks like you're just holding a flower. <gasps> now we are ready. So, so fun. Well, I don't know which way to go first. You know what, I'm gonna follow the path to the right and let's see what happens this way. Wow, this island is beautiful, even with the exception, or not exception, you know what I mean. Aside from the theme itself, it's just aesthetically really, really pretty. Oh, look at that tunnel up there. Big fan of using simple panels and an archway to make a tunnel. <laughs> so here is a little beach. <gasps> Hello, Agnes. So whose house is this? Goldie's house. So this is Goldie's house. Oh, so this is definitely a story right here. If I am not mistaken, just looking at the gnome and the spinning wheel right here and the gold, and the wheat. I'm gonna guess that this is Rumpelstiltskin. 
a little nod to Rumpelstiltskin. This is a beautiful beach too. Big fan of the standees, by the way. Oh, no, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I meant to do this. Big fan of the standees. I think that they're an underused item uh, in many builds, and I think they're really, really great. Oh, so this is the Three Little Pigs area. Okay, I was very confused looking at this fireplace and all of this brick floating right here, but... <laughs> If you aren't familiar with the story of the three little pigs, what happens is one little pig, in this case, Curly, decides to build, oh, well, I'm going out of sequential order here, but just bear with me. One of the pigs builds their house out of brick. One builds their house out of wood, which looks like Agnes right here. I do recognize this house. And then one builds their house out of straw, which is Gala or Gala, depending on how you pronounce her name and the big bag wolf blows down her house and her house over here however house made of stone or brick if you will depending on which rendition you're familiar with <laughs> that's the one that ends up standing that is so cool how creative i was so confused seeing that brick but it all completely makes sense so let's keep, um, I guess we'll keep, keep on touring. I, this is so much fun. I like guessing what these are. Hi, Sherb, you cutie, and Goldie. And Sherb's house is on the beach. I wonder if he has a particular uh, tie-in to a fairy tale. Let me know in the comments if you think that's the case. Um, but he's also just really stinking cute, so that could be why. <gasps> oh, I see a dress. That looks very Alice in Wonderland-ish. And a little rabbit, the white rabbit. Oh, and the Mario pipe. Oh, oh, okay. This is so clever. I didn't even see the Mario pipe, but now you can definitely see it. Wow, okay, so this is clearly an Alice in Wonderland reference. And Tasia did tell me that this rabbit hole can take us to multiple different areas and it's kind of a gamble as to where we're going to end up but uh we're just gonna see where the first one takes us oh <gasps> okay okay just looking at what's in my screen right now i'm gonna take a guess that we are in Oh, and there's a simple panel right here. This is Jack and the Beanstalk for sure, because I saw the, 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 the swan, which I'm guessing is laying these golden eggs. <laughs> but then of course right here is a simple panel in front of, oh yep, in front of the Mario pipe. Oh my goodness, that's exactly what it is. How cool is that? So you take Alice in Wonderland's little rabbit hole and it brings you, at least the first destination, it brings you to the castle in the sky. Any Into the Woods fans out there, Giants in the Sky, you very much know that song. And that's what this is. This is Jack and the Beanstalks. Big old castle in the sky with, oh, the singing harp too. There's the harp back here. Oh, so sweet. You have the singing harp and you have the goose that lays golden eggs. This is amazing. Wow. And let me just say, one of my favorite recent trends is using standees, speaking of them, uh, in the winter time, snow covered colorway to look like clouds. It's beautiful and so creative. Even the hyacinths to look like clouds or fog or anything. Wow. Man, people are so creative that play this game. I bow down. <laughs> oh, it took us somewhere else. Oh, it took us to the bottom of the beanstalk. Whoa. Well, this is Grizzly's house, so I don't... Hmm. What would Grizzly be? Also, we have a present. Maybe that's a clue? Oh, no. Bean tossing kit. <gasps> Would this be? 
Oh, maybe this is like Jack's house. Maybe this would be Jack's house because he's milking a cow. I don't know. Let me see where I am on the map. Where am I? Up there. Yeah, I bet this is Jack's house. Bean tossing kit. <gasps> Wait. This has got to be something. All of these buckets. That's Jack and the Beanstalk. Pails of water. Jack and Jill went up the hill. Well, I probably can't get up here. But anyway, to fetch a pail of water, right? Does that sound right? Hopefully. Okay. Let's go through the pipe again. <laughs> I think... I think that's gonna be our best bet to explore at least a couple of different areas because I know it will take you multiple places. So let's see. <gasps> Wait, yeah, no, this is not the same rabbit hole, is it? I mean, it is a rabbit hole. Oh, another present. A party popper. Oh, is this? Okay, this has to be the very merry unbirthday tea party. So this one does tie in very much to Alice in Wonderland. <laughs> I love this. This is such a cool way to, regardless of what theme you're going for, to kind of showcase how you can decorate terraformed areas that are still very, what's the word? I guess ex exclusively accessible. Like, you, you can hop to them, right? That's what I'm trying to dictate. <laughs> wow, that is so much fun. Yeah, definitely the Mad Hatter tea party right there. Oh, this is so beautiful. Oh, oh, I see someone. Hold on. I see someone. Oh, can I get around? I don't know if I can. Oh no, I might have to get to the house a different way. Hold on. Can I go this way? <gasps> no! Oh, well here's Nook's Cranny. Right there. Okay, we're gonna go back through the rabbit hole because I have a feeling that we're only meant to really access the tea party through the rabbit hole and I don't really wanna ruin that illusion. So let's continue. Wee. <laughs> I think that's three out of the four, is that right? Okay, we're back to Jack and the Beanstalk. We've seen this, which is incredible. Back to Jack and Jill. I think we've seen all four. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we've seen all four, but I wanna get back to our original spot if it'll take us there. If it'll take us there. Okay, well, you know what? In that case, we're just gonna <laughs> we're just gonna go on this way. <laughs> That's the thing about those Mario pipes or rabbit holes. I should I should refer to them as. You don't know exactly where you're gonna end up. But that's the fun part. So let's go up here. <gasps> oh, she couldn't be more perfect if she tried. Look. And I mean, there's no mistaking who this is or where we are. This is definitely Cinderella in Cinderella's castle. <gasps> wow. I want to get out of the way so you can see her. Look at how beautiful she is. Oh, she's like walking away. She's like, bye. That was beautiful. Hello. The prince is throwing a ball. He is. Aww. It's time to go to the festival. Again, only a certain group of people will understand those references. <gasps> Stop it. Oh, wow. Oh, my. Look at how stunning this is. 
and you even have, I'm trying to like get out of the frame so y'all can see this as best as possible <laughs> without me in it here, I'll turn around. But even the clock at the top, oh my gosh. This is something else. Wow. I didn't think we were gonna come to the ball. Oh, this is beautiful. And I don't, I don't think I can get to the other rooms. Oh wait, I can. Okay, let me see if they're done. Wow, that is incredible. Oh, how sweet. Oh my gosh, it's almost like a museum tribute to their love story. We have their crowns. We have our beautiful slippers right here. Oh, how stunning. Man, I'll tell you what, this is a week for islands where I leave baffled, absolutely baffled. The one I toured or earlier this week, this one, absolutely stunning. So I don't think I can get to that right room, yeah. But let's go upstairs, let's see. <gasps> I need to start doing these tours with a face cam because you should have just seen my jaw drop. We have the fairy godmother and the horse-drawn carriage from a pumpkin. It's way too perfect and accurate. Oh my heart, my heart is so full. I'm like low key getting emotional at this uh, upstairs floor. Wow. Absolutely wow. I, I am so impressed. Tasia, if you're watching this, this is, my heart is so happy. <laughs> this is so fun. Okay. Bye, Cindy. Oh, look at her little glass sli slippers right here. Okay, now I'll continue. That's so sweet. Well, now where to go? Oh wait, there's a little land bridge right here. Okay. Oh, we had options. Um, let's go this way and then we'll come back to this land bridge. Oh, it's Able Sisters. Oh, hello. So beautiful. Climb here. Oh, that's handy. That is something that I definitely need. Climb here. Here? Here? Or here? Yeah. <laughs> oh, wait. Maybe I did still go the wrong way. Oh, wait. No, that works. And we're at Abel's. Oh, I love it. I love the simplicity too. Not too much frill, not too much floof. Just, you know, we got the sweet Abel sister shop. And if we go through this forest, oh, oh, I might cry because I already know it's coming up but I see a ladder where we can get a better viewpoint. Did you guys see that? I'm sure you did. And if you love, okay. Okay. I know there are so many animal lovers that also interact with my channel and, oh, bad view, there we go. <laughs> and so this Bambi tribute I'm sure makes you feel a certain way, like I feel right now. This is precious and so well done. It's just like the perfect amount of hidden. It's one simple panel, a few standees from the holiday collection in the back, and yet so incredibly effective. I wanna, you know what, I'm gonna take a picture of this and I may or may not make it my wallpaper on my computer for a little bit of time, because that is really sweet. Oh, 
Wait, should I climb up up here where this ladder is? Okay, so not that way. Wow. That really made me feel a little bit emotional. <laughs> oh, and here we have the rock garden. Of course there's one and a wishing well, which is just way too perfect. For a fairy tale themed island. Stunning. Now what's this way? Oh, oh, is this, uh, this dress looks like Aurora, AKA Sleeping Beauty. And I'm, I really, I made that assumption too because of this right here, how she pricks her finger and this, whoa, whoa. Yeah, this must be her, her castle. Whoa, how cool. That is really cool. I love this build too. I was almost expecting a, uh, a house to be here, but it's really just this perspective build and it's so well done. Man, we've seen so many fairy tale nursery rhymes. Like we've seen the Alice in Wonderland, Three Little Pigs. We've seen Jack and the Beanstalk. We've seen so many. Oh. On my way to Granny's house. To Grandmother's house. Oh, she's showing us the way. Okay, Red, I see you. Are you... Okay, well, you're going back that way, but I'm gonna go down here. <gasps> yeah, oh, the wolf statue. How perfect is that? So this obviously is Little Red's area <gasps> and Little Red has their own house. So we have got to go in. Oh, is there gonna be, is there gonna be grandma, <laughs> granny in here? <laughs> oh, how cozy. Oh, Little Red just has a really beautiful living room. <laughs> I was expecting a deceased grandparent and here we are with just a stunning living room also i did not know you could put cushions on top of the piano bench and that is beautiful okay well okay let's go to this room and hope we don't see a deceased grandparent but we might because that's how the fairy tale goes no, we just have the beautiful red dresses and a nice sewing room. So is this great? I'm guessing this is grandmother's house, right? To grandmother's house and home before dark. So sweet. I also love that concept too of having a sewing room and having a whole bunch of custom designs you love on the walls hanging back there. So I don't, let me just triple check, but I'm pretty sure you cannot, yeah, you can't get to that back room, but this right room, you can. <gasps> oh, and this is bedroom. Oh, are you, okay. Either this is meant to be the wolf or It's just a dog, but this is a beautiful bedroom either way. I really like this mixture too of the cute furniture with very otherwise like forest core, cottage core type of furniture. The rugs, like it feels very, you know, appropriately elderly, does it not? I'm guessing that was meant to be the wolf in grandma's room, but I could be wrong. So let's see what's up here. Oh, and just a beautifully cluttered attic, just as any grandparent should have. In my case, my grandparents had a very, very cluttered basement. Uh, I used to go down there and just explore and play through a whole bunch of stuff. And I ended up finding at one point a yellow scarf with tears in it. And I was very confused. It was like a silk scarf, not like a winter scarf. And I went and asked my grandparents why they kept this silk scarf with tears in it. And it's because they went to an Elvis concert 
and Elvis threw his yellow scarf into the crowd, but people were grabbing at it like crazy, so it got torn to bits. Anyway, that attic reminded me of that. <laughs> so fun. Little Red, okay. Let's keep going. I'm gonna definitely lose track as to where we are and where we've been, but I'm gonna do my best. Oh, this is the house that I was trying to, oh, hello. This is the house I was trying to access earlier and couldn't. <gasps> Muffin Man, I live on Drew Lane. <laughs> Which of course now totally makes sense with all of the dropped birthday cupcakes. Oh, how fun. Okay, that's really stinking cute. Let's go inside. I'm gonna guess it's a bakery. But I, you know, you never know. <laughs> yep. How perfect. Look at these standees, too. <gasps> well, you know what? Since we're here, can I not pick them up? Oh, my goodness. You can't. I guess because they're placed. I thought you could pick up the actual cupcakes and eat them. Well, hey, you learned something new. This is so well done. Look at how sweet. Okay, we have two rooms. Oh, okay, or I can sit down. We have two <laughs> rooms to check out. Oh, how fun. Just like a little storage closet. I love it. This definitely feels like one of those industrial refrigerator type of situations that you usually would see in restaurants or bakeries. How cool is that? And to the right. And um, we still, I think, have two more houses to explore, if I'm remembering that correctly. <gasps> and the actual kitchen. This is giving me like Cake Boss vibes. Look at how these counters are decorated. Whoa. That is one of the coolest custom codes I've seen put on one of those tables. How neat. This is so creative. This had to have taken so much time, but how fun. What a fun island. There's certain islands that you visit and you're like, this is just way too enjoyable. Some are, you know, just beautifully aesthetically, which this one is as well, don't get me wrong. And then some are just, you can't stop smiling. And for me, this is one of those. The Muffin Man. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I can go that way, I cannot. So we will, oops, sorry Muffin Man, I'm so, so sorry. Oh, you know what? It's funny that this is here because it must be pointing to Drury Lane. Anyone? No. I still haven't gotten the laughing reaction since I restarted, which is a bummer, but you know, it is what it is. Oh wait, maybe I should go, can I hop this way? <gasps> I don't mind if I do. <gasps> oh, how beautiful. Look at Sweet Sherb, oh my gosh. Wow. Yeah. This is stunning. I'm gonna get the Muffin Man to look. Oop. Oh, so close. So close. That is beautiful. This whole island is, what can I say? Okay, let us continue. Okay, so we're back at the rabbit hole. Um, we already saw this beach. I'm so sorry, Sherb, I don't mean to push you, buddy, with the three little pigs, but we didn't go this way. Oh, yes, okay, so this is resident services where you will wake up, and then I think, oh, present, 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 and present. I didn't see these earlier. I must have run past them. Oh, there's more outfit choices. Okay, so if you wake up and you head to the airport, like I did, you will have other outfit choices. That's so fun. I think presents on 
these islands are just so, so enjoyable. So now that we are back to the airport area, instead of going to the right, we're gonna go to the left. We're gonna explore this other side. Look how pretty this beach is. What's happening down here? Oh, <gasps> Tasia! Once upon a time. See, she is the narrator. I knew it, I knew it. I knew it all along. Oh, this is a really precious little picnic. And I've said it once, I've said it probably multiple times, but I'll say it yet again. I think this custom code on beaches just looks so pretty. Wow. There's this little orchard area. So if we go up this incline, this this is a villager house isn't it sometimes I always need to double check wait right yeah <gasps> wait can I hop oh I can what the we didn't see this oh is this how you get to Nook's Cranny Wait, what's over here? An egg. Humpty Dumpty. Right? Am I misreading this? This is Humpty Dumpty, right? There's a wall and there's just a random egg. Two very random things that just happen to coordinate with the story of Humpty Dumpty. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna take that as a W as a win in my book. <laughs> oh, we're back at resident services. Yeah, I don't want to go that way. Um, let's see. Oh, here's Nook's Cranny. Earlier, we couldn't get here earlier, but we were so... Nope, not the map. Hello. Hello. So pretty. I always looking, love looking at storefronts, just seeing how people like to decorate their actual structures. Like the museum, for example, super specific. It was Jack and the Beanstalk, it was a castle. And then uh, with Abel's and Nook's Cranny, like, love it. They're just perfectly fit into the island without being a theme, per se. So I'm gonna follow this path. Look at all these butterflies. This is stunning. Oh, this takes us to that beautiful land bridge that I did not see earlier. <laughs> but how stunning. Oh, it's so beautiful. And you know what? We never even went down this incline, so this is perfect. A little water spout, a nice little garden area. Also, if y'all are catching any references that I am missing, let me know. Oh, and we're back to the the Jack and Jill spot. Hmm. Where else can I can I go this way? No. Let's see. I know we're missing the left-hand side of this island. But I want to know the best way to get there. Maybe it is from the beach. So pretty. Wee. I also love all of the areas on this island where you have to jump. I do appreciate that. I appreciate a good, uh, a good mid-game exercise. <laughs> Okay, wait, wait, what am I doing wrong? Oh, okay, I keep going back and forth. And I'm sure at this point it is the Vino and not the terraforming. <laughs> but I'm very confused at how I got here. 
Okay, this is the way. <laughs> there we go. Cue the applause. Oh. Oh, hello, gnome. I don't think we actually saw you earlier. And maybe you are significant to something happening over here. Yeah, we haven't seen this whole path, have we? Wait a second. That dress is familiar. This is something. What is that dress? This is... Hmm. This is actually probably a decent angle. <gasps> Rapunzel. Rapunzel. It's the new Rapunzel. Um, that's the dress. Right? And that would make sense, too, with the tower behind her. Well, the silo, but y'all know what I mean. Right? Am I getting that right? I hope so. <laughs> I hope that's right. We shall see. Oh, another beach. Oh, what is, what could this be? It's super cute. Hold on. This is a mystery. This this is why I love this island too because it's like a big like riddle. The whole thing is a riddle. This is something. This is not in, just like randomly placed items. What are the dishes? There's a bowl. There's a moon and there's a violin. What? Okay. If you know what this is before I figure it out, put it in the comments. <gasps> oh, 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 I think I just figured it out. Wait, is that right? With the cat and the fiddle. So the violin's supposed to be a fiddle. And the bull is the cow. Jumped over the moon? That might be a stretch. Is that a stretch? But why are there plates? <laughs> why is there dishware? <laughs> Unless I'm not remembering some of this nursery rhyme. Hey diddle diddle, the cat and the fiddle. The cow jumped over the moon. That's the only part I remember. So maybe I am, um, I could be all out of sorts. Also, here's the campsite. And another little area. Oh, how sweet. Wait, what are these words? What is this? Sweet books. This is a really precious dock. Oh, I also love the grassy custom code too underneath this wood. I don't, is this Winnie the Pooh? I'm gonna say, I'm gonna take a, a gander, a guess and say that it is. But I don't know. Oh, also we have a house back here to explore. Maybe this is uh, Winnie the Pooh's house or whatever this nursery rhyme is that I am not totally sure if I got right. <laughs> not Winnie the Pooh, but you're also not Cinderella. Who are you? Goldilocks! Mm, do you smell porridge? <gasps> Wait, so this is Goldilocks and the three bears? Didn't we see the three bears? No, we saw the three little pigs. Different, different triad. Different. <laughs> A different holy trinity. Oh, how fun. So much porridge. Oh, this is so fun. So in this home too, we have two rooms to explore. Y'all come visit this dream address. This is way, way, way too much fun for me just to be exploring on my own. <laughs> I cannot tell you how big my smile has been touring this entire island. And here are the beds for, of course, the three bears. So sweet. This is so well done too. Like clearly mama, papa, baby bear. 
people have their own little beds. So well done. I wonder what the right room is then. I'm also, oh wait, not right room. I meant back room. <laughs> I'm also in awe at how many of these nursery rhyme, fairy tale, pop culture references were all fit into one island. Oh, and here we just have a sweet little living room too. Oh wait, no, these are the three chairs before the beds, right? One is too hard, one is too soft, and one is just right, which is probably the stool because it's both a little cushion and some wood. So fun. So fun. I really like being able to recognize the references and it's just, it's so nostalgic and so much fun. Um, onward. That was super cute. So we, I don't think we've seen all of this island yet. I think we still, still have some of this left side. Goldilocks, you were so cute. Look at that hair. Oh my goodness. Yeah, we'd like, we haven't been back this way. Have we? No, what's this? What's the, what's one with pies? What's the one with the pie? Um. I can't think of it. Y'all in the comments will have to let me know. It's in my brain. I know he pulls out a plum with his thumb, but I can't remember his name. That's my version of the nursery rhyme. <laughs> he pulls out a plum with a pie, or at least that's my guess, unless this is in reference to something different. Like maybe the baker and his wife or something. Um, but I don't know, maybe. Climb here. How, how, I feel like there, we have so much to explore. This is amazing. Oh, whoa. Oh, okay, now I get it. I was about to say there are so many gnomes, but after seeing all of the apples, and what is this? <gasps> yeah, this is Snow White, of course. How many are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is Snow White's land. <laughs> that one I can get. That one I, can, I will catch. <laughs> so beautiful. I love this too. I love how simple and perfect and it's just, it's way too perfect. Man, I wish something like this were my island where it's just all full of purpose and fun and intent. I love that. So is this a view? <gasps> Wait, who in the world? What the? I mean, this is a beautiful view, don't get me wrong, but I do see a witch. And I see candy. Which can only mean one thing. And that is that uh, this next, oh, I don't need the ladder. This next venture, I'm, I'm gonna guess, is Hansel and Gretel because they're like, ooh, candy, because I'm a child. And they're like, ooh, more candy. And that's not dangerous to like eat candy that you find on the ground. And oh, a present too. I'm just going to take that. And let me guess, it's probably, yep, more candy. And then, <laughs> I love Hansel and Gretel. And then this is the witch that owns the big old gingerbread house, right? Miss Plum. Is that, is that the uh, witch's name? I honestly do not remember. When I think Miss Plum, I think Professor Plum and Clue, which this is not, whoa. This is fun. Okay, all fairy tales and nursery rides aside, I, I, or aside, I just want a room that looks like this. This is so much fun. I kind of want to make a candy palace just, you know, for my own, uh, for my own serotonin boost. Oh, I can't get there, dang. 
I was hoping I could, but I do see an upstairs and downstairs. And actually, I'm gonna pan quickly. Yeah, we can't get to that room. So let's go up first and check it out. <gasps> Wait, what? What is, is this? Is this a Sanrio item? I'm so confused. I've never seen this before. Oh my goodness. I'll go back to the center of the room. Yeah, it, that's definitely a, a Sanrio item, right? How fun. Yep. I would like a candy palace in uh, my own Animal Crossing room, house, mansion, palace. Actually, it's a candy palace. Downstairs. Oh God, this is gonna be like the dungeon, isn't it? Oh, yep, 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 yep. Knew it was gonna be a totally different take. Oh, and poor Hansel and Gretel are right there. Was his and Gretel a tale made to keep kids at home? Because <laughs> don't they, like, correct me if I'm wrong, but don't they not have, like, the happiest of endings? Or, like, maybe a lumberjack or someone saves them from the witch's furnace? I don't know. Grim fairy tales are exactly that, very grim. This is perfect though. The simple panels, everything, even the skull in the middle. Ah, 10 out of 10. This whole island, y'all. Oh my goodness. Visit this dream address for yourself. I am, I know for a fact, and I do this with most of my tours that I put on television. Television? Who am I? <laughs> am I like Barbara Walters? Like, <laughs> what? Not on television, on YouTube. Jesus. Um, but I almost always go back and spend another at least half an hour maybe another full hour like taking pictures going through the island itself looking at things i might have missed uh but i do try and get always my first reaction on camera just so it's genuine and all that but anywho this is one of those islands i'm gonna be exploring again and again and again what is this what is this? I see a dress, so that's a character. I see you. I see a school. But I see a song. What song is this? Is this a clue? Can I take it? Can I not take it? Oh. Wait. KK lullaby. A lullaby. A lullaby. What villager house is this? Maybe that'll help. Mary. Mary! <gasps> Mary had a little lamb! That's the lamb. You know what? I should be a detective, really. <laughs> this is so incredible and so much fun. I could go on and on and this video could be easily three to five hours long but to spare you um i will just wander at the slightest bit more yeah i'm very i still can't remember what this is supposed to be i think it's the guy that pulls out the plum i feel like his name would be jack but that's just because most riddles and fairy tales have jack as their protagonist for some weird reason like did no one back in the day think that you know Jack was a little overused. Maybe not, but I don't know. <laughs> With that said, y'all, since we have at least explored all six, right? Six houses? There were a lot, but anywho, this was such a treat. Thank you so much, Tasia, for letting me tour your island. I have been having such a 
fun time exploring this and make sure to go give Tasha a follow on Instagram. I will, I'll make sure to put all of her socials in the description box and um, all that good stuff. I am just blown away. I hope everyone has the best weekend if you are watching this on Friday. And if you're watching this on a different day, whether it's morning, afternoon, evening, whatever time of day it is, I just hope you have the best one wherever you are. And I will see y'all in the next one. Bye-bye.